Hey guys, in this video we're going to try and repair this Milwaukee 18 volt reciprocating saw. Now I don't think I need to explain how reliable and useful these tools are. These things were built to work, and with a price tag of over $100 you can imagine my disappointment when mine stopped working. As you can see, nothing happens when I squeeze the trigger. We'll start by removing the screws that secure the handle assembly. There are 8 T15s and 1 T10. Once we have it open, I'm going to do a quick scan for any disconnected wires or broken solder points. Nothing's jumping out at me and everything looks to be in pretty good condition. A little cleaning never hurts, so I think that's where I'll start. I'm going to go a step further from the compressed air and use some of this contact cleaner. I got everything sort of partially reassembled and unfortunately the saw still doesn't work. Using a multimeter, I can see we're getting 18 volts past the battery terminal. When I squeeze the trigger, I can see we're also getting 18 volts at the motor itself. The bearing still appears to be in good working condition. Let's clean up the brush assembly. All right, and let's try this again. Alright, and there we go guys. Like I said, these things are built to last and I'm glad I was able to get this one going again. As always, thanks for watching.